And what it requires people to do is come to the table and look at how do we optimize the entire watershed as opposed to how do I get what I need. So you do need a different governance structure. And what we've done is we've invited members. We have five major members who are the biggest wholesalers in our uh, watershed. And they have representatives that come to SAPA, the Santa Ana Watershed Project Authority, which is a JPA. And the JPA is kind of a 20th century answer. We have another answer for the 21st century century and that's the enhanced infrastructure districts and you know that's just a fantastic tool that people should jump on that bandwagon right away and organize themselves. You don't have to blow up the boxes as you know, Governor Schwarzenegger used to say right away but you can create a venue where people can come together and see the larger picture and understand what the collective needs are and how you can best manage that water drop. You know, I, I think the underlying message is just how intertwined water and the economy are. And you know, to a large extent, we have achieved kind of decoupling of GDP at a national level from oil consumption. We're going through the process of decoupling GDP from energy consumption. We need to do the same for water because you know, the underlying issue in terms of water is actually not the drought that we're suffering today. It's the growth that we hope for over the next decades.